I started the project actually many years ago when I was thinking about trying to find a way to make a more uh, functional VTOL aircraft that didn't have all the complexity of a helicopter. And recently I came up with an idea how to do that, and that's ended up in the, being this aircraft. Originally Jim came to me with the idea, and I looked at his patent that he applied for prior art on the patent. I also analyzed the technical side of things and made sure it all made sense. The name of the particular aircraft is the Atlas aircraft. The prime advantage of it over a helicopter or any other VTOL aircraft are, first of all, its simplicity. It's just got rotating things, no control surfaces, uh, low maintenance. It also has, as opposed to a multi-copter, it has long, long range because we use a gas engine. And all, it's all enabled by a technology we developed called managed auto rotation. You have the simplicity of a multi-rotor, but you have the performance of something more like a helicopter. In essence, the gas prop is providing all the energy going forward. We had a vision for different kinds of aircraft sizes, uh, and the ones we picked, we built a scale version so that we could prove out the technology, uh, make sure it really did work. We, we did it on simulators first, and then we validated the simulator. To verify the performance of the rotors, we also built a coaxial static test platform where we could test thrust, torque, current, and all the different parameters of the motor, the speed controller, and the rotors. And then we took that a step further and put a platform on a truck so that we can go down the road at 70 miles an hour and measure the aerodynamic performance. And then finally we're flying the aircraft itself, a scale model, about a quarter scale model. So the scale down platform is supposed to have a maximum gross weight of 55 pounds. It's intended to fly up to about 70 miles per hour and it's intended to prove the multi-rotor auto rotation concept and low power with a propulsion engine where all the power is being provided by the propulsion engine and not the rotors. The target for this is uh, cargo hauling, uh, vertical takeoff landing aircraft that will go for hundreds of miles. It will be an autonomous UAV and it will uh, go from point A to point B hauling a roughly 400 pound cargo. And fly a little over 100 mile an hour and have multiple 100 mile range on a single tank of fuel. Uh, we hope to start on the large aircraft this summer. Um, we're already working on the planning for that and we expect it to be built in probably a little over a year. One of the neat things about this project is it is really a first mover opportunity. It's an opportunity to actually establish a way of transportation that doesn't exist right now. It provides something that we believe is revolutionary. The possibilities are probably not imaginable right now what can be done having an autonomous vehicle that can go from point A to point B at very low cost and, and carry substantial cargo.